<laughs> Your in focus. Nothing. You're just like, I don't realize how much you burp in a day until I'm editing a video. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So I did a little Q&A before. Um, this video is obviously all about Joel's hair transplant. So he went to Turkey July last year um, and he got a hair transplant and he also got veneers. So basically he was my little guinea pig because I'm planning to get veneers the same place this year. Super excited about that. Firstly, it looks amazing. If you've seen Joel's hair beforehand, it wasn't that bad, but men like to call it a receding hairline. It was bad. Yeah, well, when you like have the transparency from it, yeah, it looks bad. Only because it looks so good now. I hid it well for too many years. Burp. 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 It's burp break. Righto. Make sure you have a coffee or a shot, and you shot every single time. Joel burps throughout this. Why? So then they can get drunk while watching the video. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. it's a good one. <laughs> Firstly, I want to ask you a question. What? How was your experience? It was great. What was your favorite thing? The dove do very well. Just say, for example, if someone was going there as like a couple, is it a better experience if they go alone or with your partner? No, definitely go with your partner. It gets really boring in your room when you're recovering. Yeah, like the only reason why I didn't go is because I had Kate. Because I, and I also knew it wasn't going to be like a holiday. We'd just be sitting in the room and I am terrible at traveling. I rely on, like I can't even get to Sydney without Joel. I literally rely on him too much. You barely get to Glendale. <laughs> like I can't, yeah, I still use the and maps to get to our local shop. So I wouldn't be able to do Turkey. That's a good one. So now Hair Time is the company that we went through. Um, which is in Turkey. Do you know the cost difference? Exchange. No, so, no, the cost difference from getting your hair transplant in Australia versus Turkey. So, one of the reasons why we did do it in Turkey is because it is a lot cheaper. So, they're saying at the moment, because of the dollar, the US dollar, they take US dollars. It's up around $8,000, but when I went, it was around $5,000, like equivalent to our money. So, 5000 AUD. When I went, it was about eight. I think they're saying about eight thousand. So, number so which one? How much is? <laughs> so Australia. How much is Australia's hair transplant? It can range from anywhere from six to like twenty grand. Oh, I've yeah, seen people right. get. That was the question. We, we've got a friend that got one done for about six grand, and it and it all fell out. So that, oh, like, in Australia. <gasps> Who? But that's also like depending on where you went went to and as well same with like you can't just fly over to Turkey and think you're gonna get the best results That's why we made sure we, we got the best of the best that like, we did so much research on it now hair time And they're also very well known over social media and I do feel as though Like we relied on that a little bit because obviously if you're well known and someone's had a bad experience They're going to post about it and it was a few people that we did also know through social media that did it through now hair time. How long does it last for? Well, I didn't really say. And it depends how you look after it too. Your aftercare, like having vitamin. You can also get your blood plasma put in your donor areas, which keeps the blood flow in it. So do you have to take that daily? Yeah, they give you stuff for 12 months and then well, it's up to you to get your own like multivitamin from the chemist. But what? is there, because I swear I read somewhere that if there's not a medication that you take daily, it falls out. Oh, is that not true? No. Oh. What? Hey, I legitimately thought you had to take a medication for the rest of your life, otherwise you know. No, there are other medications that people take to stop <laughs> their hair thinning. You know, so. I was yeah. genuinely scared. I was like, what if we go on holidays and we forget it? Like I was, yeah, okay. That's not true. So whoever told me that, or wherever I read that, false. You have to take drugs for the rest of your life. Pull up the good. Is the hair real? Yeah, it's, it's very real. They pull it out of the side of your head and they put it in the front of your head. Yeah, so that's... That's why it's called a transplant, oh, I think. Yeah. Actually, get a hair transplant from anywhere. So you've got lots of hair on your back. They can pull it out of your back and put it in your head. A lot of guys when I was there were getting their beards done, all their beards. And what, 
putting it in their head. Pretty sure they were pulling it out of their... Some of them got their hair transplanted and like a beard done. Mine done as well. Was it painful? Fucking oath, it was very painful. The anesthetic they put in your donor area and in the transplant area like kills. If you've ever bumped your head and split it open and you needed a, a, a few stitches, the anesthetic that they put in your forehead, imagine that like 30 to 40 times all over your head. I, I but the, the actual transplant, once they've done that, you cannot do it. How long is the procedure? Yeah, I was in and out in three hours, I'm pretty sure. So did you have to literally just lay there the entire time and they would just... You lay down face first, so we're on like a little, like a massage table with your head through a little hole. And they pull all the hair out of the back and sides of your head, not all of it. It's like every second follicle gets pulled out over that whole space so you can't notice it now that I've had any hair pulled out. Um, and then they roll you over and then they put more anesthetic all in your donut area and they put them in one by one. They stab a little hole in your head imagine and they plant yeah, hair no, by hair. They'd have to have the best like concentration and just... Have you I seen the it. video? They had like all their my hairs on there and they were picking them off with a set of tweezers and you've seen them jam put them and then they would just like literally insert it to all these little pieces so you'll see in these photos here that the donor area where your hair is most dominant and they'll pull it out from there and then you'll see in this photo that there's all this kind of like red mark that's legitimately where they were put in all the hair so that's where Joel <coughs> didn't have hair and as you can see here now he has like a full head of hair. But yeah, it, like it grows with his hair, it grows as long as his normal hair. Cause it's legitimately his hair just placed into a different area. Oh yeah, <laughs> she is so I'm so intense. What month was it when his transplanted hair grew enough and blended with original hair? That's a good one. Mm. How long? <laughs> Did you even listen to the question? <laughs> No, I think it was about, a a, about six months before I could blend it in and you couldn't really notice it. At the two to three month mark, it all fell out. And that's the stressful part. Yeah, like, we fuck, freaked out. Back? Yeah. It's gonna grow back. And don't stress if it does, it's just say, you know, you go and book an appointment, you have a hair transplant, and, you're, and you are watching this video, and you're going through that process, don't stress out, because we did, and <laughs> it is legitimately a part of the process, we'll constantly message them, and we're like, it's taking longer than we expected, or you guys said. I'm obviously keeping contact with your surgeon, doctor, whatever. Is this a parcel? Yeah. I don't think it's me, the neighbours as much as a shopaholic as I am. Wait, I'm seeing if it's just me. Just sit out. Nah, it's not. Damn it. Yeah, I think it's just really, like if you're planning to always about biting the bullet, just doing it. Obviously, doing your research with the place that you're going through, watching videos like this. Um, Joel had a really good experience with the place that he went with, so now hair time. Um, yeah, really do your research because like what we said before, we've had a mate who literally got it done in Australia and all his hair's fallen out. So imagine, spending all that money going through all that process and that happening um i think as well with this specific bloke he didn't take his recovery the best seriously seriously yeah i was like help me with english right now <laughs> well that could have been it you never know and like there's a lot of things that can affect it after, like with the aftercare and even other things uh, excessive drinking i think could could harm it. I reckon it could. Well, smoking does, but yeah. <laughs> they say you only need three days of procedure and you can fly home. And I like the recovery in them three days isn't enough. Your head blows up like a balloon. But the advice I've given to the guys that have messaged me are uh, book an extra three days after your transfer. Um, if you guys have any more questions or anything about Joel's experience with now hair time and the hair transplant, just let us know in the description below. But before we go, I did want to give a huge shout out to the sponsors of today's video. So Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder. So what I mean by all-in-one is literally you can do everything all within this one platform. You can do everything like email campaigns, there's certain blogging tools, you can look at your analytics, everything that is basically needed to run a successful website, you can do all through Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for literally years now and my website 
and our future website with a project that we're working on is all done through Squarespace. And I originally chose Squarespace when I first started because of how easy it is to build your own website. That's literally what they're known for is the fact that you can do it all without having to fork out hundreds of thousands of dollars on a website developer. It is so cost effective. I highly recommend using Squarespace for someone who's wanting to run a successful online business, have a blogging page, a landing page, literally whatever it is, Squarespace offset. I will leave all the information and the discount in the descriptions below and I'll also put my discount code on the screen. Anyway, we will see you in our next video. Bye.